I got to ask you about Maxine Bernie. I'm trying to figure out if this is a sort of a flight of fancy by one guy or a runaway train that's aimed mm -hmm. at knocking the conservatives right off the tracks. Tonda, help me sort this thing. How dangerous is this for the Conservative Party of Canada? Well, look, I, I actually think that this, that there are many people worried about it. Um, I wrote today about, you know, he, contrary to, you know, everybody said, oh, none of the Conservative Caucus MPs have lined up behind him. Well, in fact, they've had three MPs reach out to them behind the scenes and initiate talks. Mm. He's got former MPs from the previous parliament who are willing to run under his banner. He's got indications that riding associations are ready to be formed across the country mm. in different pockets where there is some geographic concentration of votes. So that's what I'm told today. Uh, so I think that given the poll of the Globe brand today, that he's got 17% of Canadians who might be willing to or open to voting for him, I think that's a concern. Yeah. Well, he, look, he's no Preston Manning. He's, I don't think he's going to be the threat that's going to build some great national party, but he doesn't have to, Don. All he has to do is pick up one or two or three percent votes in some in certain ridings, and the Conservatives will lose, and it'll likely be the, to the Liberals' benefit or to the New Democrats' benefit, depending on what, what kind of riding it is. So the Conservatives have to be very concerned about uh, him, and you can be sure that the Liberals are smiling away. I'm just trying to understand how this could catch any wind in the sails. It's, it's, it's rooted in supply management and, and the diversity question. It just it's seems a libertarianism, to too. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, you only have to, he only has to be popular in a few very conservative ridings mm -hmm. for that to have an effect on the conservative running that riding. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of conservative MPs are worried. And some of them are probably uh, polling in their own ridings to get a sense of how much of a danger it, it is he is to them or not, mm -hmm. uh, I, and it they would be foolhardy hardy if they try to just dismiss this out of hand because we I don't we don't see him as a national threat, but he could be a threat in a number of writings. I think look for uh, the way that Bernier broadens his message beyond supply management. You heard in a couple of weeks ago when he first came out in you know that blistering message condemning Andrew Scheer's conservatives. He broadened it beyond supply management of the poultry, dairy and eggs quota system in Canada. And he attacked corporate welfare. He attacked the way the Liberals were handing, handling NAFTA. He attacked equalization. And so he's pitching a broader economic mm -hmm. message and a broader mm -hmm. fiscal message. And that can appeal to a lot of conservatives who, especially some who feel that, you know, <clears throat> that message isn't being proclaimed loudly enough by Andrew Scheer. Lest we forget, he's got a book that hasn't been published. You can fire that baby up and roll it out because the leader can't say, don't publish it now. I forgot about that already. <laughs>